the vehicle at level ground, chalk the wheels, and put the transmission in neutral. Before I replace this park neutral safety switch, also known as a transmission rain switch, I'm gonna spray it with some brake parts cleaner because ours is very dirty and greasy. It'll help me see what's going on. Disconnect the electrical connector from the switch by pressing in the lock tab and pulling the connector off. It's a little tricky with the four-wheel drive, the front drive shaft here. I've got this unlocked. It's a little tight on there. I'm gonna take a flat-bladed screwdriver and just help pry it off. It's very gently. I get it free. There it goes. Okay, place that aside. I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter wrench and some groove job pliers to hold, to counter hold the arm. Okay, with that loosened, Switch to a ratcheting wrench. Remove the nut. I'm going to remove the arm. It's a little bit stuck. I'm going to use a flat bladed screwdriver to pry it off. This arm is keyed, so it's only gonna go on one way. We can place that aside for now. There is a small mark on the neutral safety switch showing where neutral is. This is why we put the transmission in neutral before taking the lever off. If the lever moves while you're trying to remove it, I'm gonna take a little brake parts cleaner to try to clean it off so you can see it better. It's real greasy, but we'll clean it off. If the shaft moves, you can take a 12 millimeter wrench and move it back so the line lines up there, just like that. So that means the transmission is in neutral. I want to remove this switch with the transmission in neutral. Make sure that that line on the black part lines up with the line on the white part. Now that we have this lined up, remove the eight millimeter bolts on either side. Make sure that these are gonna come free using an eight millimeter wrench. They're free, so I'm gonna to switch to an eight millimeter socket and ratchet. With these loose, I'm just gonna use my fingers to bring them out the rest of the way. I'm gonna reach up, pull the switch off of the transmission selector shaft. If it's difficult to remove, use a large flat bladed screwdriver or a small pry bar and gently pry it off. I'm working on all the sides. Continue to pry at the park neutral safety switch until it becomes free from the transmission selector shaft. I'm gonna use a wire brush to knock off some of the corrosion. This will make installation of the new part easier. 
can use brake parts cleaner to clean up any more of the grime. When installing the new part, line up the keyways in the white plastic with the keyways in the transmission selector shaft. Make sure that this black line on the park digital safety switch is lined up with the white line on the, on the ring here. That means it's in neutral. So this one we actually have to adjust a bit. We have to adjust this way. And that's lined up right there. And now I can install the bolts. Reinstall the eight millimeter bolts. Getting them started by hand. Here's my eight millimeter socket and ratchet. And the other side down. Just be careful while you're installing these to not rotate the switch. If I feel these get tight, I'm just going to stop. Reinstall the shifter control uh, arm. It is keyed. Slide over this. We need to move it a little bit once I get it started. I'll reinstall the nut. A 15 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Tighten it down. I'm also going to counter hold the arm with my hand. I'm going to hold onto the lever with my hand and then give this a nice tug to tighten it. Reconnect the connector. And the job is complete. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.